Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my continued coverage of the HTC Flyer. Please do check back on the main Geekanoids channel for more videos on this really nice device. This is the new 7 inch touch screen tablet device from HTC and in this video I'm going to be showing you email and in particular the Gmail application. Now this has got my Gmail account assigned to it so it keeps things synchronized. Any new emails that come in also appear in this notifications bar at the top so it tells me when I've got new emails and um, really really nice that you can pull this drawer down and gain instant access to any new notifications that come in. Now the Gmail application looks like this I can go into uh, one of the messages for example this top one here and when I'm in there it shows me the content of the email can I pinch to zoom? No I can't. Can I double tap? No I can't so that's a bit of a shame, so, so it's actually a fixed sort of size. I'm sure that in settings I can probably change the actual font size. I can also switch round to landscape mode, which obviously gives me bigger text. And here I can scroll through the message. I can go back one step to this list of messages here, which is really nice. And I can also sort of do these little tick boxes on the side here. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you. There are little tick boxes along the side of the messages and this allows you to sort of put little ticks in the um, boxes for example here so I've got two tick there and then I can either archive delete or change the labels on those ticked messages so let's delete both of those so they're actually deleted from my email list now if I'm in an email I can tap reply this brings up the compose email and you can see that I've got a nice size keyboard for typing on. Let's give it a try. You can see as I'm typing, there's a mistake there. Let's go back and correct that. As I'm typing, it comes up with suggestions. So I've spelt this completely wrong. It hasn't come up with flyer, so I'm going to have to go back and correct that. But if I want to accept a suggestion that's highlighted I can just tap space let's try typing a, a longer word uh, so essentially and see if it picks up on it so there we go we can see essentially so I could tap on that word straight away let's wait until I've done the two L's it still hasn't picked up on it so I can just tap on the word let's try touch so there's touch so I can tap on that There's screen come up already, so you get the idea, you can select the word as you go. To access the extra symbols above the keys, you just tap and hold and it changes to a number 2, and a number 3, and a number 4 for example, or the ampersand, and again you let go, and when you've got what you want, you tap the spacebar. Now it does work in portrait as well, let's switch around to this portrait size keyboard. Now you could hold this in the hand and try some thumb typing. Uh, so let's try thumb typing. Oops, there we go, and it's corrected that one. So it's done a really good job of actually correcting my typing as I type. That was pretty comfortable actually, typing with the thumbs. I do prefer it this size uh, on the landscape keyboard, but in landscape, you can only just reach those middle keys, you've got quite a stretch to reach across. So that gives you a look at the email application, it's very nicely laid out. Uh, let me just go back a couple of steps and discard this message back to my email list. Now one thing I would have liked to have seen uh, implemented is the two panel design where I've got a list of emails here and the body of the email on the right, but they didn't do that. But still, even as it stands, it's really, really nice. I do like it a lot. Maybe with an update, if it comes up to a newer version of Google Android, they may well implement the two sort of panel widescreen design for the emails. But as it stands, really nice experience. Really liking the HTC Flyer. And I just urge you to stay tuned to the Geek Noise channel. Please do subscribe because I'm going to be bringing you a lot more videos on this device over the coming days. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.